This goes to the, the question that ECB board members were talking about, which is that they might not be able to cut rates because of geopolitics. Do you think that this sort of one-two punch is looking more likely for the Federal Reserve as well, that they will keep rates higher for longer in response to higher commodity prices, even at a time of a potential shock that could curtail growth? So, Lisa, this is a great question because I think most people, not everybody, most people on your show have now agreed that the last mile of inflation is going to be complicated, that inflation is most sticky. Where there's massive disagreement is what the Fed should do and what the Fed will do. All right. There's massive disagreement. There are those who think the Fed should, should hike. You had the UBS today showing 6%. There are those who think, like me, the Fed should maintain its course and cut twice this year by 25 basis points. Now, why are we all over the place? It's because we disagree on what our star is. We disagree on what the right inflation target is. And therefore, we disagree on how the Fed can best meet its dual mandate. So this is, this is where it's going to play out over the next year. In order to predict the Fed, if you think they will remain data dependent, which they are today because they got so embarrassed by what happened in 2021, then the Fed will not cut. If, however, like, like me, you hope that they will go from excessive data dependency to also having a macro framework in their head and looking forward, then they will cut. And that's what we're going to see play out in the next few months. But if they are data dependent and you see inflation, we had hot retail sales yesterday, and they do and they do start to get more concerned about inflation, is it not just they're not going to cut, like the UBS note? Do you think they could hike? Look, inflation, if inflation gets much worse, they could hike. But I think if they do hike, we're going to have a regional banking crisis. We're going to have all sorts of damage um, in the marketplace. And I think that is at the back of their head. So I think the likelihood of them hiking is low. Is, is it zero? No. They could. What's the difference between them hiking 25 basis points and just holding for the rest of the year? How big is 25 basis points? The minute they hike 25 basis points, they open the way to hiking more. That's, that's the difference. We're going to see today, Chair Powell is, is going to try, I think, to do exactly what he did earlier, which is maintain maximum optionality. On the one hand, I think he, he's going to basically say the inflation story has not fundamentally changed, and he's going to probably use the word fundamentally. On the other hand, he's going to say, well, we need more evidence to know what we're doing. And he's going to keep his options open, and that's what he's going to keep doing for a while. Is it too early to move away from bumps in the road? Three bumps in the road? I would have moved away a long time ago, um, but I th they probably will maintain the bumps in the road.